The AI news in the past seven days has been insane with so much happening in the world of AI. So in this video, we're diving into some of the latest AI developments from major players like Llama 2, 13 billion, GPT-4 and Open Hermes 2.5. The main feature of Open Hermes 2.5 is that it mostly uses GPT-4 generated data for extra learning. In this step-by-step -step guide, we will cover what is Open Hermes 2.5, how to use Open Hermes 2.5, and why Open Hermes 2.5 so much better than GPT-4 and Llama 213 billion. My homepage is like my personal lab for playing around with large language models. And yeah, it's as fun as it sounds. The new Open Hermes 2.5 model that truly excites me. I highly recommend you to watch this video until the end is a game changer in your chatbot that will realize the power of Open Hermes 2.5. What is Open Hermes 2.5? Open Hermes 2.5 Mistral 7B is a cutting edge Mistral fine tune model that is based on the Mistral 7B and has further improved performance by performing additional learning. Open Hermes 2.5 is a state-of-the-art SOTA fine-tuned version of Mistral 7B. It was trained on 1,000 entries of primarily GPT-4 generated data, as well as other high-quality datasets, for example, from Glaive AI, A16Z, and dozens of people and organizations. What are key features of Open Hermes 2.5? Open Hermes 2.5 mainly uses GPT-4 generated data for extra learning. This code data is about 7-14% of the total data set and has helped improve performance in many non-code benchmarks. These features are exciting and the findings gained from building this model may have a revolutionary impact on future LLM development. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, Make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. Let's benchmark results. From here, let's compare the benchmark scores of Open Hermes 2.5 and other LLMs. The graph below shows the average results for the GPT for All, Big Bench, Truthful QA and AG Evil benchmarks. Comparing these results, Open Hermes 2.5 has the highest score among the Mistral fine-tuned models. Not only is the performance significantly improved over the base model Mistral 7B, but it also has a higher score than OpenChat 3.5, which is said to have achieved a benchmark score that exceeds ChatGPT. Just looking at this benchmark score, it seems to be quite promising. I will also introduce a graph comparing the scores obtained on a coding task benchmark called Human Evil. Although there are fewer LLMs compared here, Open Hermes 2.5 has the highest score here as well, about four times higher than Llama 27B. It seems that your coding ability has improved significantly since you are learning a large code dataset. Now that I've introduced the benchmark scores, I'm going to try using them and see how they perform. How to use Open Hermes 2.5 with LM Studio to download the Windows or Mac version. Once downloaded, the file can be opened to start the installation process. With LM Studio, you can run LLMs on your laptop entirely offline. Use models through the in-app chat UI or an open AI compatible local server. Download any compatible model files from Hugging Face repositories. Once installed successfully, open it and simply all you need to do is search for open chat in this search box. Click enter and then you can see that you have a lot of open chat variants. In order to download it, all you need to do is click on this download button. And as you click it, you can see that on the bottom section of this page, it has started downloading. Once it is downloaded, you need to go to this chat icon on the left hand side. Click here and then on the top middle, just select the model to load and then click here to load the model. And you can see that now the model is being loaded on our local system. Now you can chat with your open chat model. Feel free to play with it. We're going to compare El Lama 213B and GPT-4 and verify how much performance Open Hermes 2.5 has. This time, we will verify the following items. We're going to input the following prompt to confirm it generates functional code and let's check the results. 
If you take a look at these results, I was surprised to see that Open Hermes 2.5 outputs code explanations. The code itself generates very well written code, so I feel that it has higher capabilities than Llama 2. 13b when it comes to coding tasks and is comparable to GPT-4. Amazingly, it has this much performance in this size. Now we're going to check illegal information. Please input the following prompt to confirm it generates functional code. As you see, Open Hermes 2.5 refuses to provide illegal information. But when the same question was previously asked of the base model Mistral 7b, it answered in quite detail how to make illegal drugs so additional learning will help improve ethics. This means that your sexuality has been strengthened. Learning from the data generated by GPT-4 has improved not only performance but also ethics, which is amazing. My impression after using it, its performance is not much different from that of Llama 213b or GPT-4. And when it comes to coding tasks, it outputs answers with higher accuracy than Llama 213b and its capabilities are almost the same as GPT-4. The knowledge gained from building Open Hermes 2.5 could help significantly streamline LLM development, potentially leading to a future where AI self-evolves. Let's wrap up. Open Hermes 2.5 is good in terms of performance. It has the same performance as Llama 213b and GPT-4. And in terms of coding tasks, it has a higher performance than Llama 213b, which was almost equivalent to GPT-4. I think it's amazing that a model that is so small that it can be operated in a local environment has such performance. I will leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily access them. It's a great read and it'll give you a lot more understanding as to how they basically accomplish this. So with that thought, I genuinely hope you found it informative and valuable. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content. Like this, don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. If you have any questions or thoughts, drop them in the comments below. I always love hearing from you. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.